Dr. Amy Heller here and I'm on a walk with my dog in the woods today. We got up Saturday morning, had coffee, decided to go for a walk in the park and it started me thinking about some of the risks that are out here. Obviously there's mosquitoes and we know all about the dangers there but I want to talk today about leptospirosis. So Kaylee, my dog here, was just chewing on a stick. I'll bring that up a little bit later. We've got some puddles that we've encountered today because it rained a lot last night. We've got some standing water. Seems like no big deal, but leptospirosis is a disease that is spread through contaminated groundwater, standing puddles and things like that. Right after a hard rain is actually the worst time for dogs to get exposed to it. Spread by wildlife when they urinate around these areas. Um, there's a little bug in there that causes the problem and it lingers for a long time. It'll actually be a problem for all mammals. So think anything from mice and rodents to squirrels and deer, dogs and people. Um, they can all get leptospirosis. Now for dogs there's a vaccination against it. Um, so if I didn't have her vaccinated against lepto, now would be too late. She would already have been exposed. The stick she was chewing on earlier, if that had been urinated on by a deer last night, and still had some wetness to it, she could get it by chewing on the stick, having a little cut in her gums, and then it enters her bloodstream. The other thing is, if she had a little cut on her foot or something, walking through this puddle could be how she could uh, get that. I have a cut on my ankle, but I'm not worried about picking it up because I have my cut covered and I'm wearing shoes. And that's why you don't hear a lot about lepto in people, but it is an issue for dogs. Um, causes kidney and liver disease and problems like that, it is preventable. So vaccinate your dog against lepto if you do stuff like this. Thanks, have fun hiking.